Welcome back to today's tips and tricks. I'll be teaching you how to make the most money as a CEO and an MC efficiently. Now when doing a CEO and MC work, I recommend obtaining a solo public session which can be achieved through multiple methods. For example, you could keep finding sessions until it puts you into one or change your aim to free aim so it puts you into a free aim lobby or you could change the date and time on the PS4 and wait about 15 to 20 seconds and then change the date and time back to normal and it should put you into your own public session. However, it may take a few attempts to work. Also, before we get properly into this video, if you're low on money and are just starting off as a CEO, then I recommend checking out my previous video, which is called How to Make the Most Money as a CEO Efficiently, which will be linked in the description. But anyway, let's get right into the video. So for starters, the cheapest headquarters is the Lone Bank West Office, which costs approximately $1 million. And a small warehouse is 16 crates and it produces 240 grand. A medium warehouse is 42 crates, which produces 735 grand. And a large warehouse contains 111 crates and produces 2,220,000. Now, the cheapest small warehouse is 150,000, which is a convenience store lockup. And the cheapest medium warehouse is 880 grand, which is a GE warehouse. The cheapest large warehouse is 1,900,000, and it's called the wholesale furniture. I would recommend buying a small warehouse and buying single crates if you're just starting off as a CEO and just brought a headquarters but can't afford a vehicle warehouse yet. Now, for a medium warehouse, I recommend doing the double crates option, and for the large warehouse, I recommend doing the double crates option as well. However, if you want to be time efficient and produce a lot of money, then I recommend owning two large warehouses. Preferably the Darnold Bros Warehouse and the West Vinewood Backlot Warehouse. Now the best large warehouses in my opinion are the Darnold Bros Warehouse which costs approximately 3,500 grand and the West Vinewood Backlot which costs 2,135,000 grand. Now the reason why I think these are the best large warehouses is because of the location is easy to access and I've also noticed that when you do the crate missions they usually tend to spawn near the north and east side of the city which is why these two large warehouses are best suited for that area because of how quick and easy it is to access them. So as I was saying if you own two large warehouses you want to do the triple crate option because you will be making the most money the quickest way and you can skip the cooldown timer for buying crates by switching between warehouses. However, once you can f afford a vehicle warehouse, I recommend filling it up before you start selling vehicles so you can implement it into the double large warehouse routine doing the triple crates method. Now the best vehicle warehouse location is the Davis Vehicle Warehouse which costs 2,495,000. It's the best vehicle warehouse location because of how easy it is to access from outside the city because the majority of the roads are straight and lead straight through the city to the vehicle warehouse. The cheapest vehicle warehouse is located on La Mesa which costs 1,500 grand and it's called the La Mesa Vehicle Warehouse. Now you want to fill up your vehicle warehouse and only sell every top range vehicle every 20 minutes so that once you have run out of the top range vehicles when you go to source a vehicle you will receive more top range vehicles frequently because there are only two variants of each vehicle so if you keep all your standard slash mid range vehicles you have a better chance of receiving the top range vehicles when you do run out of your vehicle warehouse. Now you want to keep selling a vehicle every 20 minutes because of the cooldown timer for selling vehicles from your vehicle wells as it descends. So in the meantime while you're waiting for the timer to descend, you want to keep filling your two large warehouses doing the triple crate option until you can afford an MC clubhouse and then purchase an MC business and the upgrades for each business. Now if you're wondering how much money does each business produce, the document forgery produces 126 grand, the weed farm produces 252 grand, and the counterfeit cash factory produces 294 grand, the meth lab produces 357 grand, and the cocaine lockup produces 420 grand. Now the cheapest document forgery is located in grapeseed and costs 650 grand. Now the cheapest weed farm is located in Sanchansky mountain range which costs 715 grand. And the cheapest counterfeit cash factory is located in Grand Sonora Desert, which costs 845 grand. And the cheapest meth lab is located in Grand Sonora Desert as well, which costs 910 grand. And the cheapest cocaine lockup is located in El Amo Sea, which costs 975 grand. 
Now the location doesn't really matter to start with because you want to save your money for the upgrades because you won't be collecting the supplies for the businesses. Instead you will be purchasing the supplies for them so then you can spend your time doing CEO work while each MC business gradually produces a product. Because if you did decide to collect the supplies for each business it would require a lot of maintenance due to constantly collecting supplies for each business and it would be a waste of time and would become tedious and repetitive going back and forth. Which is also why you want to move each business into the city so then you have less distance to travel and you can jump back into doing your CEO work quicker. Now every two hours you want to check up on each business because supplies will need to be purchased again every two hours because they'll run out and it will take up to five hours for all the businesses to be full which will produce 1,449,000. Okay so now I highly recommend when selling the product in the MC business you have at least one associate because the selling vehicles are random and there is only one that can't be done solo which is the delivery vans because you will always run out of time so it's best to be prepared with an associate when selling the products from each MC business. Now I'm pretty certain that's everything you need to know on how to maximize your efficiency as a CEO and an MC. If there is anything I left out which can improve this method then feel free to let everyone know in the comments below. Also stay tuned to the channel for an upcoming money guide for players who have just started off on GTA which will be teaching you how to become millionaires and maintain it. Anyway, I hope this video helped and I will see you in the next video.